friends. Welcome to CNP Tamasho, episode number 23. And today, our program is anchored on the book titled Toru, Nanu, and Hippo by Mrs. Manora Majafa, written by Mrs. Manora Majafa, illustrated by Sherman Bromek, and published by Khas Kitab Foundation. Now, children and audiences, let's not forget, in the COVID time, it's been a challenge to bring performance, performing arts onto the digital, a three-dimensional programming on two-dimensional digital flat screen. So children book stories are revamped and performed. So today we have with us the first the performance by Roshan, the acrobat, he's a child. And he illustrates what we in India today, we have the national education policy. No, it's not about child labor, but it's about learning a skill and going to school. So do support our cause. And with him will be Rahul Sharma, the fantastic percussionist who will be accompanying his performance. Let's go ahead. And then with Divya Goswami, the Kathak dancer. और मैं पांचवी क्लास में पढ़ता हूं और मैं कला भी दिखाता हूं आप और आप है ना तो ऐसे लोग डाउन कर दिए और जोर के बिनती है कि मैं ये पढ़ता हूं ये कला भी दिखा सकता हूं और ये पढ़ भी सकता हूं enjoyed this performance which we brought together from two different areas. Roshan the acrobat who I must tell you Shiv Ram Rajnath who is now we are encouraging him to create a small self-help group of street acrobats. He brought in Roshan and many others we'll be bringing in. In fact Shiv Ram Bhatt is going to have some special lessons from artists perhaps of Uzbekistan and Cambodia. So this program, CNP Tamasho, is also about skill building of different performances and repositioning performing arts. Now we have the book and the enactment of this book by Kathak dancer Divya Goswami. This book, which is written by Manorama Jaffa and illustrated so beautifully by Shoman Bhomik, let us tell you a little bit about the children picture book and the pictures that are created. Shoman Bhomik had the subject of a turtle and a little hippo on his back. Just look at the sea 
and the waves and hippo and the turtle. And just see how evocative and eye-catching these pictures are for a child. And let us see this. So let us un undergo a journey into the world of Toru Nanu the turtle and Hippo, Hippu and his mother by the sea. Are we ready to start? And the story enacted by Kathak dancer, well-known Kathak dancer, Devya Goswami. So once again, let us enter the world of picture book story. Namaskar Bacho. Once again, welcome to this beautiful world of stories. So today, I'm going to take you to a sea. Bright blue and green with its cute little waves and a golden sandy beach. And there lived a tortoise. His name was Toru Nanu. And you will not believe it, but he was a hundred years old. On the same beach lived Lady Hippo, a beautiful hippopotamus. Now our old man, Toru Nanu, loved to sleep. He would swim with the waves, eat a little, come back to the beach and just relax on the beach, soaking in the sun. One fine day, Lady Hippo had a little baby a cute little hippopotamus and she named him Ipu. Now Ipu, like all babies, was very naughty and he always demanded his mother's attention. He would cry loudly and our old man Toru Nanu did not like it at all. He would shout to Lady Ipu, Please make your child stop crying. He's disturbing my peace. But does a mother like any complaint about the child? She would not listen to him. As baby Ipu grew up, he wanted to play with Toru Nanu. He would climb on his back. Now we all know that the tortoise has a very hard back, almost like a stone and it shines. And whenever the baby would climb back, Toru Nanu did not like it. He would shake himself and baby he would fall down. But he thought it is a cute game and this kept continuing. It really disturbed Toru Nanu a lot and he did not know what must be done. But one fine day, there was a huge storm in the sea. There were winds that were very loud all over and waves that were so huge that nothing was visible but the huge gushing waters. And one such big wave came right up to the shore and everything was washed off. And the wave took back baby Ipu, Toru Nanu and Lady Ipuputanus. They were drowning in these huge waves. Just didn't know what to do or how to swim. But hang on, Toru Nanu knows how to swim. So, fighting the waves, he began slowly swimming back towards the shore. Suddenly, he heard a loud cry. Help me! Someone help me! I'm drowning! Immediately, Toru Nanu knew this is the voice of baby Ipu. He swam towards baby Ipu, put him on his back and together they came to the shore. After the sea was a little calm, they began looking for Lady Hippo. Where is she? Toru Nanu could not spot her anywhere. Lady Hippo, where are you? And the little baby kept crying. Mama, Mama, where are you? I'm all alone on this beach. Please come to me. Mama, where are you? But Lady Ipo was nowhere to be found. And I think the waves were so big that they took 
leading people with them and she drowned. At that very moment, Toru Nanu, who was seeing baby Ipo crying, went to him, hugged him close, kissed him, and he said, You know what? From today, I am going to be your mother and I will take care of you. And in times to come, both Toru Nanu and baby Ipo began to live together in harmony and in happiness, enjoying the same beach. So children, let's learn to live together in harmony and always help each other, take care of each other, for love is the most precious thing. CNP Tamasho, Toru Nanu and Hippu. First, we saw the act of a, the little hippo in the form of an acrobat, and then we saw the enactment of the art, uh, art and book by Divya Goswami. So, audiences, please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We need you. We need you to contribute to our Keto campaign for skilling and giving these artists a livelihood. We shall join you again soon. With Navina Jaffa, CNP Tamashu.